just put the sine wave revolution back on this bike. It's a quick video. So it's a, um, I've wired it off my hub. Got an SP Dynamo hub. Here it is. Two years I've been using this thing. Uh, that's the hub. That's the plug. I've wrapped the wires for the revolution, sine wave revolution in there. Heat shrink them together a little bit and they, then they're in this plug. What a bad video. This plug's got two bullet connectors so I can take the revolution off if I want to and then it kind of goes up to here and then the revolution sits under here. That's the actual bit of kit. On the market, the sine wave revolution is definitely the most kind of ugliest but most utilitarian option for this charging stuff. You can get ones that integrate into the, into the stem and things like that, but not this one. So uh, just zip tied it onto the bottom of this basket and then up into this thing. What a lovely morning to charge the Wahoo in a natural manner. So it's been charging now for half an hour. How exciting, let's see what the results reveal. Right, what we got? 53. 53%. Which is damn good. 53 from 37. So that's 16% in half an hour. So six of those and you've got yourself a full charge. So three hours for a full charge on this aged Wahoo. Not too bad. What else? So I've got it on the bottom of this basket, but like a, a more normal setup might be to have it zip tied to a stem. That's more typical. Uh, yeah, stem up here. It could be on the side. Yeah, highly recommend it. I think it's 112, 120 pound off of SJS cycles right now. I can't see because I'm steamed up. Yeah, that's the other thing. So at slow speeds on this SP Dynamo Hub, it'll start charging after, I reckon, eight kilometers an hour. Certainly less than 10 and it'll start charging. So that's great. I've used it for Paris Brest Paris, 1200k all decks, and yeah, it was excellent. I do just need to tidy up, tidy up my wiring though. Here's a closer look at the actual thing then. See that there? Sine wave revolution. It's nicely in there. It's got. It comes with a, a little bracket where you can zip tie stuff. You can zip tie it to stuff. So it's very easy to put on any dimension of tube, really, which is good. So there it is. It won't work at the same time as the light because they take a lot of uh, power. So if you turn both on, the light will come on straight away. And then after a few seconds, the sine wave will want to kick in and the light will be like, oh my God, I got no power. And the light will switch off. Maybe the charger will work, but the light will switch off.